everyone. Uh, Sean Caleb's here. We are at East Group Company Limited, and it is the largest, the largest power supply manufacturer in China. If you look down this uh, production line just a bit, this assembly line, you get an idea of what this workforce is doing. They are in the process of putting together the initial part of what will be a circuit board. And by power supply, I mean they create everything from uninterrupted power supplies to huge data offices all the way down to computers. Uh, if you look in that room, you get an idea. This is called the clean room. You've seen these folks before wearing white shirts, white hats, white coats. Uh, the goal is to keep any kind of contaminant, particulate matter, off of the sensitive work. And there's the company motto, derived from oriental wisdom, create modern technology. And that's really uh, what they are doing here. I talked about uh, what they do, creating a power supply. There are 400 employees on this assembly line. Overall, East Group has about 1,800 uh, employees. And they create not only the power supply, uninter uninterrupted power supply, but also really high-tech, cutting-edge items. The conversion, the inversion, if you will, from solar power to create usable electricity. Now these folks are going through putting down uh, these items on these motherboards or circuit boards. And this machine right here is very important. As everything goes through, it automatically solders everything on uh, to that circuit board. And that's very important for obvious reasons. And then as it comes off, we have these folks that go through and they manually check all those solders. They make sure that everything is done perfectly. Nothing sloppy, nothing hanging over the edge. This young lady he is from the town we're in, Dongguan. And if we go down here, this young lady came from far away Hunan province, a rural area. And she's a pretty good microcosm of what we're seeing, not only at this factory, but factories throughout China. The population's changing. They're moving more into metro areas. When reforms began, only 18%, less than one in five people, live in the cities. Now that is changing dramatically. It's something like 60% of the people live in cities and more and more are working. East Group does have a dormitory here on site for people living individually, singly, uh, single. And also, if families move down, there's another area of housing not terribly far. They work with them to provide housing uh, as well. Now, joining us to put all this in perspective is the one of the operational sales managers uh, for East Group, Sun Chuan Yuan. Uh, tell me a bit about this company. It's amazing. It does business with more than 100 companies. And really, this is the future for China, wouldn't you say? From going from made in China to created in China. Oh, yes. Uh, I think since uh, uh, Chinese opening up starting from 40 years ago, at the very beginning, we produce a basic product uh, that is uh, uh, made in China. And uh, later and later, we have uh, more opportunities to, to communicate with uh, companies uh, abroad in this industry. We upgrade our technology, we improve our product performance and step by step. And uh, now we have uh, our, uh, our creative technology and idea to design the product. So I think this is a change from, um, from made in China and uh, a creative. So actually, uh, during this stage, as a company in China, as a manufacturer in China, we contribute to this uh, opening up program. Uh, by uh, uh, with our uh, advanced technology. And you're a pretty good example of what we've seen. You've seen a lot of change in your lifetime. You have a master's degree, you work with international companies. Does it make you proud to think where China is today? And and what have you seen? What kind of big changes have you seen in your life? Uh, also, also, this generation in China, I think I, 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 I'm grateful uh, to Ch China's opening up and uh, the change. So in my life, I think uh, um, I, ha I have had uh, opportunities to uh, get a master's degree in university for first study. So th this is very good for my career. And uh, for uh, the people in China, I think now there are uh, more and more change on different aspects. For example, for transportation, before we go to uh, from this city to uh, another city, maybe it take one day. But now we have a high speed train, so only maybe uh, four hours we, we we go from Guangzhou to Wuhan. 
So it, it is very convenient. And the second, for example, for the payment. Uh, before we have to uh, line up in the bank right, for right. one or two hours, and then we can pay to some company or individuals. But now it's easy. We just uh, take our, our mobile phone and then uh, put the password. We can easily to pay to the companies or individuals. It's very convenient. I think uh, there are many, many some examples. Yeah, Sun Chuan, you, uh, Chuan Yuan, you have seen tremendous changes. We really ap ap appreciate your time. And here are some of the circuit boards that are still waiting to be at the final products, uh, final. Uh, stages, if you would, put on here, but this is the final project of one of the uninterrupted power supplies, and this would work for a computer. Just click it on, it would work, and believe it or not, all the work that goes into this, all the high technology, it's only $25 in U.S. money, so it's, it's amazing. If this was sold outside of the, uh, outside of China, I'm told it could cost about three times as much. And as I mentioned, some 400 employees working on, on the factory ground, working on the assembly line here uh, in East Group. And there are about 70% of them come from the provinces that are uh, further away. And that, again, is a, a microcosm of what China is seeing. As it moves from made in China to created in China, they need to have uh, a workforce that understands what's going on, uh, higher education, uh, and that's something that you see folks here working with all the time uh, at East Group. And the products that you're seeing, the, uh, the casings going on, the uninterrupted power supply. This is a, the, the final step really here. And then it's going to be boxed up and shipped out. They not, not only make uninterrupted power supplies for data, storage areas and computers, but they also make power supplies for electric vehicles. We've seen those. They look kind of like a gas nozzle, but it's electricity. And they make them to work in China, to work in Europe, and right now they're developing two other kinds that will work in Japan and the United States. And joining us uh, now to talk a bit more, another operational sales manager for international sales, uh, Yun uh, Jin. Tell me a bit about what we're seeing here. This is the final stage, really. Yeah, we're on the third right. floor of a large building, yeah. and these items are now going down to the first floor. Walk me through what's going on. Yeah, you can see this is the final finished product. So now we are using the automatic lift to shift the product from the third floor to the first floor. So finally, we are using a robot automatic machine to cut it down. And this could really go anywhere in the world. You deal with 100 companies, 100 countries. Tell me about some of the nations that you do work with. Yes, actually for this kind of UPS products, you can see we already export in uh, all over the world, like Italy, all the European countries, even the South Africa and the South American countries also. It's really amazing. We were talking about the tremendous changes uh, that have uh, unfolded in this country over the last uh, 40 years. Tell me a bit about how things are changing from made in China to created in China. Yeah, the changing you can see. Actually, for the first uh, uh, 10 to 20 years, you can see China mostly producing the clothing and the shoes only. But now you can see we can produce the high technology products. Like in China, we are producing the power supplies for all of the world. And we also produce the uh, solar immersion, the new energy, and the e vehicle charger for the electronic vehicle. Yeah. And one other thing we're, that you see here, you're working with other nations to other companies rather to outsource some of the work. Tell me about that and how you see the economic landscape in China changing uh, as we move to 2020 and beyond. It seems like the path is still set to continue that upward uh, trend. Okay, you mean so you can see China now, anyway, this is changing, making our life is getting better. Better. You can see 14 years ago, most of the Chinese people is a far farmer, but now the millions of farmers they move to the, to the big cities to, to be a worker. So, do you think that the stage is set for more economic growth moving forward? Yes, you can. Wow, well, you can see, but now. You can see we are using the automatic machines to replace the labor work. And now you can see China, we already don't have enough labor. So we start using the automatic machines, the robot, to replace the, 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 the people labor work. You, Jiang, thank you very much for your insight. We certainly appreciate it. He also goes by the name David. Almost let that slip 
called him David in the middle of the interview. And if you look out, you just see this whole area of the factory working. Some 400 employees here, but there are 1,800 who work for East Group overall. And a lot of those folks have PhDs in engineering and the sciences. And I'm told that a lot studied in, in the UK, a lot studied in the United States and other areas. And they chose to come home because I'm told uh, by East Group that one thing that is offered to, the, to those with higher education, more incentives to come back to China and work and develop these high-tech products. So uh, you see more and more of these boxes being filled uh, and shipped out across uh, the world. 100 companies will receive the products that come uh, here uh, from East Group. And it is, uh, the, the, you can pretty much it, see how the path has been carved out and where China has been and where it is going as reforms mature here in China. John Caleb's CGTN here in Dunhuang.